What is Baal? Baal is an entity found within the Bible, as well as throughout the ancient histories of Mesopotamia. Usually Baal can mean the title of Lord or Master. However, Baal is not always a person but can also be a place. For instance in Numbers chapter 22 verse 41 we see the mention of Bamoth Baal as a high place, and not an actual person. Although Christians usually call Baal as a pagan god, it's actually a much more broad term than that. As we see in Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 32, Yahweh was like a husband to Israel. The word husband in this verse, translates to Baality in Hebrew. The root word Baal is used. So does this mean Yahweh is just another pagan god because of his title, Baal? We see in Hosea chapter 2 verse 16, that no longer will the nation of Israel call Yahweh by the title of Baal in the coming days. It reads, In that day, declares the Lord, you will call me, my husband. You will no longer call me, my master. The word husband in Hebrew is Ishiyud, which will be the new word to use instead of Baal as husband. Baal is also another way of saying master. So in those days which have yet to come, Israel will no longer call Yahweh by the title of Baal. Meaning, Christians' use of Baal as a devil or a pagan god, is a misconstruction due to their misinterpretation. Baal is just another title for Lord or Master, as is, El, a title for God. So to put it into context in modern day use, it would be like calling Yahweh, the Great Architect today. Although Freemasons also call their God as the Great Architect, we know Yahweh is the true Architect. This is how the ancients in Mesopotamia used the word Baal, as how we would use the word, Great Architect today. Unless we have scripture that specifically says in the coming days we will no longer call Yahweh as Great Architect, then to call Yahweh by that title has no foul today. As the scholar, Mark Smith puts it perfectly, the word Baal exhibits a complex development in biblical and extra-biblical sources. Where he also points out that there were many Baals throughout history outside the Bible. Which means the word, Baal, does not define one person or one pagan deity. So now we know Baal, is just a term which can mean, master, lord, or husband.